Hello, John Talley here with Boats.net. Today I'm going to walk you through the process to replace the input shaft seals on our lower unit that came off our 200 Mercury Verado. It's not that tough to do, as you can tell. I've already removed it from the unit. We've already taken off the water pump. Now it's time to deal with the upper shaft seal. So let's step over to the table and look at the kit that I chose to get this done. Now what we're really after here is this section right here. This has both of your seals, the housing, as well as an O-ring with it. Now, it is part of a larger kit that I went with because I'm actually going to be replacing the output shaft seals in a later video. So, why not go ahead and buy a kit that has all of that in there? Now, granted, it has all these different pieces, but we are only after this one. Now, there shouldn't be anything other than just regular hand tools that we're going to use through this process. And I'll call those out as we go along. So if you're ready, we'll get this thing finished up. We need to push down on the seal carrier so we can remove a ring and then it'll lift off. What I'm doing with this collar is just seeing if I can get it to pop loose. There we go. Just push it down ever so slightly. Now we can reach in and get that ring out. Not a lot of tension on this. There we go. As always, when you're pulling something like this apart, lay it out on the table as it comes off the unit. Make it a lot easier to put back together once you're done. This is gonna be a really simple process because you can order the individual seals and the O-ring and then use this original carrier, but we've already got the kit that has all of this already pre-assembled and ready to go. And that's the direction we're gonna, we're gonna take this. While we've got it torn down, let's go ahead and clean out the top of the housing, make sure there's no pitting, there's no corrosion, anything that's gonna let water get past this seal or this O-ring and get into the bottom end because that's its whole job, is to keep water from getting inside of this unit. When you're doing this, make sure that you don't force anything down into the unit, because that's what we're trying to avoid. We're just trying to get stuff like that out. This one is actually in really good shape. I don't see any abnormalities in there. Now definitely the hardest part of this project is removing the drive and then getting the water pump out of the way. Once you get past it, this is really simple. Now if you need help removing the unit and then getting the water pump out of the way, we have a couple of videos that will show you how to do that. So if you would, reference the playlist on this particular motor and you can go straight to them. Now if you decide to reuse your carrier and install the seals yourself, and the O-ring, there's a couple of things I need to point out. Your seals are actually facing away from each other, so the, the flat sections are butted up as you're putting them in the housing. Also, when you're installing them, you want to put red Loctite around this outer section as you're pressing them in. Once you've done that, what we're about to do as well is you'll load this area with 2,4-C Teflon grease as well as around the O-ring itself before you install it. Oh, now let's go ahead and load up the inside of those seals with that grease I was talking about. That should do it. We'll take the leftover, put a light coat around the outside, make sure that that O-ring goes in there smooth. Let's pop her back in. Use this little collar, get it to knock down. Now we just want to push it down far enough to where we can get in the retaining ring. Now let's get in our retaining ring. Once again, lot of, not a lot of tension, so you can pretty much get it in there with your fingers. There she goes. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps this one up. The only thing I've got left to do now is reinstall the water pump and then reattach it to the unit. Now, if you need help doing that, why don't you reference this unit's playlist and I can walk you through those two processes. 
Listen, if you need parts for your boat, why don't you come see us at Boats.net and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments, why don't you leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. We just want to say thank you for shopping here with us at Boats.net and we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day.